Hi, this is the solution to the pre-release material of Spring 2017 Explain on Python. Let's start with taking a look at the question. So you're designing a program to help a teacher that's planning a school trip to a theme park. Okay, you've been asked to write a program to work out the cost per student. Remember to have appropriate prompts. Remember to have appropriate error messages. All right, let's look at what we need to do for task one in this video. Task one is to work out the cost. The cost of the trip for each student is a share of the cost of the coach plus the cost of entry to the theme park. The total cost of the coach will be $550. The entry cost to the park is $30 for each student. And the theme park gives one free ticket for every 10 that are bought, which must be taken into consideration. These are the four requirements for task one. We need to store the cost of the cost of the coach, store the cost of an entry ticket, input the estimated number of students taking part, and we must validate on entry and an unsuitable entry rejected and calculate and output the recommended cost per student to ensure the trip does not make a loss. Let's open up Python, go to file, new file. I'll start with a comment. This is the solution to task one, work out cost. Okay. The first thing it said is store the cost of the coach. Coach cost equals $550. The second thing is store the cost of the ticket. Ticket cost equals $30. Now we want to input the number of students taking part. So we're going to say number students equals int input. You need to take the integer function of the input. Enter the number of students. Okay. Now, because we're going to validate the number of students, don't forget to close the int function and the input function. Now, because we want to validate, we're going to use the while loop. So while number students less than zero, less than or equal to zero, or number students is greater than 45, we need to output an error message. So print invalid number of students. Please enter a number between one and 45. After we do the appropriate prompt, again, we need to input the number of students. So again, number of students equals input. Number of students equals int input. Enter the number of students. Okay. All right, now we're finished validating the number of students. After this, we're sure we have a number of students that's correct. Let's calculate how many free tickets we're going to get. Free tickets is equal to the integer of number students divided by 10. So for example, if I have 35 students going, and I divide that by 10, that's going to be 3. The integer is 3.5. The integer part is the 3. So it's going to give me 3 free tickets. All right, now I know how many free tickets I have. Now I want to calculate the total cost of the trip. So I'm going to say total cost is equal to the coach cost. Okay, that's a constant. Plus number students minus the number of free tickets. Okay, and that's going to be multiplied by the ticket cost, which is $30. Okay, so this should be 550 plus the number of students minus the free students times $30. Okay, now we can, we want to know how much each student has to pay. So cost per student is equal to total cost divided by the number of students going on the trip. Okay. Now we're going to 
print, you know, the cost per student is cost per student. Let's run the program and put some test data to make sure our validation is working. All right, let's try it. Task one. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm going to enter negative 50. All right, it says that's an invalid number. Let's also try the boundary unacceptable 46. Good, we're working fine. Let's enter 35 students. Okay, so it tells me the cost per student is $43. All right, so we're done with the task one. For uh, Inshallah, we're going to start with task two next.